Beats and Basics tutorial. Hi, I'm Nick from Beats and Basics. Thanks for watching this jewelry tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can make these awesome tassel earrings using our new tassels. Uh, we have these in loads of different colors and you can make them in silver or gold. So again, endless varieties and I'll show you what you need. For these earrings you're going to need the following materials. Earring hooks, transparent earring backs, head pins, uh, two connectors, our bohemian connectors, but you can use loads of different styles. I'm going to use four millimeter jump rings, spacer beads and four by three facet beads. You're also going to need a plier and these to really make your earrings stand out. These are new long tassels. They're really cool. They're also packed very nice in these small kind of like tubes and you see it's to protect them so they stay nice and these tassels are absolutely gorgeous they're also really soft and they're really really nice so we have these in loads of different colors also some darker colors and they're perfect for making um, key change or back chains maybe you want to make a long necklace out of them and today I'm going to use them to make some earrings. So I'm just going to get all my materials. And we're going to start with our head pins. I'm going to put one tassel here in the middle and some two small charms on each side, which I'm going to make myself using these head pins. And I'm just going to put on a spacer bead and a faceted bead. And then I'm going to cut off my head pin a little bit less than one centimeter above my bead like this. Put it between your pliers and then just fold it around your pliers to make a small eye and then close it again. And then it looks like this. So we're going to use these as charms on each side of our tassel. So I'm just going to make four of these. You don't have to put these extra charms on or you can use different charms if you like that better. And I'm using silver materials and connectors, but I'll, in the end I'll also show you an example I made with gold materials and I use these really cool dark red tassels so it's really a bit like a bit of a royal look they're going to be perfect for your Christmas outfit or for any outfit as a matter of fact because they're just really cool so these are my four charms and now I just have to attach everything to my bohemian connector so i'm going to use four millimeter jump rings and i don't know if you can see it very well on the camera oh yes you can um the tassel has a couple of strings here on the top and that's what i'm going to use to hook my jump ring under just do that carefully so you're not pulling out any threads and now I can use my tassel in my earrings so just make sure it's on the bottom of your bohemian connector this and now I'm going to attach these two charms so again just take a four millimeter jump ring let's see this is the middle Just 
just make sure you're attaching the charms on the same height. Yes, it's here. Okay, so I'm almost done. I just need to attach the earring hook. And this depends on your uh, connector if you're going to need a 4mm jump ring or not. So you want your earring to be hanging like this and not like this. So in this case, I'm not using an extra jump ring because then my tassel would hang like this. I'm just going to attach it straight to the earring hook. So I'm just going to open that a little bit. And see, this is the middle. Okay, perfect. So that's your first earring done. Obviously, you're gonna make two, but also these are very handy. They're these transparent um, backdrops for your earrings. And if you wear them, just put this on the back so you won't lose your earrings. So I'm just going to make another one and I'll show you what it looks and I'll also show them in another color. So I finished both earrings. I think they're really, they're absolutely stunning. I love these new tassels. And I told you I also made them in gold. So really cool, they really stand out and we have these tassels in loads of different colors so just go to our web shop and see which ones you'd like to make. I hope you like this one, if you want to make it yourself you can buy all the materials in our web shop www.beatsandbasics.com and if you want to share your creations, you can do that on Instagram using hashtag Beats and Basics. We love to see all the things you make. If you want to see even more jewelry tutorials, subscribe to our channel and hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye!